Okay, uh, today we're going to uh, get into some linear regression. Uh, first of all, we're going to start off with the eyeballing method. And the eyeballing method uh, is used when we plot points and we're trying to sketch a line of best fit. Now the line of best fit is the one that we are going to guess is going to best describe what our data is doing. Okay, uh, the problem that we're going to be solving today uh, is from the math to study guide and it deals with uh, Old Faithful, the geyser. It's problem number six in the study guide. It says the table, which I've recreated here, shows the duration of several eruptions of the geyser Old Faithful and the interval between those eruptions. So I've created the scatter plot for the line of best fit already, okay, to save a little bit of time. And if you notice, on my graph, on this axis, I have a little broken symbol what that means is that I'm not starting at zero and working my way up, I'm just jumping up to 50. That saves me a little bit of, of space. So I've already got my points up here. Now I'm going to create a line. I'm just gonna uh, try and figure out which line might describe best what my data is doing. So how about if I go right about here? Okay. As you can see, not all those points are actually on that line, and that's fine. So I've got some that are above and some that are below, but they generally follow what this line is doing. Okay, now the object is to find a line where I have a couple of points on the line that I can compare. I've got this point here, and I've got this point here. On my table, those points are the first one, and this one, 3.576. So those two are the ones I'm going to compare, and I'm going to use those to create my equation. Now, since I've got those two points, I don't really need the graph anymore. So I'm going to use this as my workspace. Okay, so I'm using these two points and I've got to create an equation. Now the first thing I do to create an equation is I have to find the slope, which is m. The formula for slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, hopefully you remember that from middle school. All we're going to do is plug in. Since this is our second point, we're going to use that for x2 and y2. So y2 comes first, 76 minus 50 on the bottom we have 3.5 minus 1.5. Now I simplify this, 76 minus 50 is giving me 26, 3.5 minus 1.5 is 2 gives me a slope of 13. Okay? Now I'm not done. I still got to create the equation for my line. So I'm going to use this formula. We call that modified point slope form. Okay, all I've done is move my y1 over here from the original point slope. But again, all I have to do is plug in. I know what m is, I know what x1 and y1 are, because they're the point that I'm working with. So I just plug into my formula, and now I just have to simplify and I'll have my equation. actually going to give me 19.5. Now don't be afraid of the decimals. Okay? You can use your calculator and help you figure them out. So simplify some more. I've got negative 19.5 plus 50 is going to give me a positive 30.5. So this is actually my line of the equation of the line of best fit that I found based on my graph. Okay, this is eyeballing, and by nature, eyeballing is a guess. 
Okay, it's a, it's a uh, best estimate. What I want to use this formula for is to make a prediction. Now, I'm not going to make a prediction yet. I haven't gotten to that question yet. But we're going to do that in part three. Okay? But this is how you create the line, and this is how you use the eyeballing method. Okay? In the next part, we will talk about the median-median line, which is another way to do pretty much the same thing. All right, see you then.